Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Sticks in Charge. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make my homemade coleslaw. One of my viewers requested that I show my recipe. So in this video, that's what I'm about to do. So if you're interested in learning how I make my homemade coleslaw, please stay tuned and continue watching this video, okay? Okay, to make this recipe, you all, you're gonna need Duke's mayonnaise, yellow mustard, white wine vinegar, celery seed, celery salt, shredded carrots, and then in this bowl right here, I have a, um, you know, some shredded, excuse me, some shredded cabbage, and then I have some onions that I chopped up. I think I'm gonna need some more onions, so hold on. Okay, I did dice more onions, okay? Okay, for the rest of this video, you don't need to see my face. So I'm gonna take the shredded carrots, you all. I can't tell you how much to put in there. Everybody likes their, their coleslaw a little differently. So you do according to how you like yours. But I just happen to like a lot of veggies in mine. Normally, I would do the coleslaw also with um, some purple cabbage. You don't want too many carrots in here, everybody. So I'm gonna take a handful of onions, just a handful, and just drop it in here. I do a little bit more. Now I do love onions in my coleslaw. And remember, my coleslaw, you all, is tangy and vinegary. I do not like sugar in my food because I'm a type two diabetic. So therefore you're not gonna see that on this video. Um, so what I did was I took the cabbage, I sliced it really fine. Then I chopped it, you know, just sliced it real thin. And then, you know, cut it up kind of like bite sized pieces. I put it in some warm water and salt water, like 15 minutes. And then I ran it under some more warm water you know, in a colander, just to make sure that's nice and clean. And then I ran it through my solid spinner like three or four times until there was no liquid left. So right now I mix the cabbage and the coals, so cabbage and the carrots together, okay? So let's put that to the side. Let's make the dressing. Now, I do not like a lot of, um, I don't like my mayonnaise. So everybody like their stuff a different, different way. So let's bring the seasoning over here. So I'm gonna start off with just a small thing of mayonnaise, and I'm sure that's enough. I like mine with a little bit of mustard in it. And again, everybody's taste buds are different. You fix yours how you want it. Just some mustard like that. I don't like white coleslaw. I like mine to be kind of on the, um, let me get a, um, well, a little fork. Actually, um, I use a spoon. So I'm gonna put just one teaspoon of white vinegar because I don't have that much coleslaw. Okay, that's enough for me. And then what I'm gonna do to this is, I'm gonna add celery salt to the sauce. It's better to mix it all in here together at the same time. And then I'm gonna add some celery seed Okay. I know people say they don't like celery seed in their coleslaw. Well, it's yours. Oh, black pepper. I do like black pepper in my coleslaw, y'all. So I forgot about that one. So I apologize. Black pepper. Very important. Just a little bit. That's good. Then I mix this all together. Remember, you don't want it to be too mayonnaise -y. Because when it's really, really mayonnaise -y, I don't like mine like that. But you do yours according to how you want it. It's better to put the seasoning in here and then mix it. So that way it's, it's the same taste throughout the entire, you know, slaw. If you notice, it's not a lot of dressing in here. 
but I think it's enough for what my the volume of coleslaw that I have in a bowl over there. Cause I don't like mine real soupy either. Again, mine is tangy and and um you know vinegary, vinegary not sweet. Cause I don't do sweet. So let's bring this over here and let's pour the dressing over the coleslaw. And this is more than enough, by the way. And if you want to, you can taste it before you put it in here. And like I said, I don't like a lot of, I don't like mine to have too much dressing on it. Cause I don't like mine like that. But you do yours to how you like yours. If you want to put sugar in here, that's fine. And like I said before, normally I would put um, some purple cabbage in here, but I didn't have any, so. Normally, that's what I would do. And then if you wanna put more dressing, you can. And just, I just take my hands, just go through just like that. And you're gonna find that it may not look like a lot of dressing, but I'm here to tell you it is. You don't need a lot of dressing. And I'm using the glove because I don't want to touch it with my hands. Even though I'm the only one eating it, I'm, I just don't like doing that. I don't like playing the food. You guys, if you can smell this coleslaw, it smells so good. It smells very good. And if you have some purple cabbage, the color will be much, 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 uh, you know, pleasing to the eye. Yeah, the cabbage I had, you all did not have a lot of green leaves on it. I wish it did because it will turn out very nice. Yeah, this is consistency. I like mine. And again, if you're not sure how much dressing to put in it, I recommend that you start off with a little dressing at a time. Because once it sits, it's going to definitely, um, you know, break the, the cabbage and stuff down. And I don't like mine too wet. Yeah, if I was making this for some of my friends, I would put sugar in it for them because they like sweet stuff. I don't. I'm a diabetic, so anything sweet, not for me. So that's why I'm wearing gloves. Because when you wear gloves, you can really get in here and work that dressing down in the cabbage and so forth. And you season it to your liking and your taste. You like more salt, you can add, you know, more salt or more celery salt. Let's taste it. Okay. And let's move this down. Guys, I'm like right-handed, so this is kind of awkward. This is so good. Mm, mm, mm. This is how I like mine. Tangy. This is perfect. This gets more. Okay. Oh. Got in this big bowl. That's okay. Hold on. Be right back. So, I'm gonna put my coleslaw in the fridge, let it get cold, and you guys, this is how it looks. That's how it looks, okay? It's not dry. This is really good. Mm hmm. When I tell you this is good, this is really good. So, try this recipe. I think you'll like it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Okay? Well, guys, I gotta go. I have some more cooking to do. 
hope you have a beautiful day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all again in my next video. Love you. Bye.